It looks like every other car on the road. But this car isn't powered by normal gasoline. It runs on gas made from wood pellets. How many gallons of gasoline or jet fuel do you get from something like this? We get around 100 to 110. Robert Johnson is the CEO of Primus Green Energy, a biofuel company that's developed a novel way to make high-octane gasoline and jet fuel without using oil. We have developed since 2007 a process technology that uh, enables us to use natural gas or biomass and produce a um, multiple number of products, including jet fuel and diesel fuel and gasoline. By biomass, you mean like corn or, or, or trees or what? I mean anything that grows out of the ground, which certainly means uh, corn and it means trees and it means energy crops. Here in central New Jersey, Primus has big plans for its technology. The company is finishing work on a small demonstration plant, but it is currently raising money to build a much larger commercial plant, one that would allow it to produce up to 27 million gallons of fuel per year. To put that in context, the U.S. Energy Department says the nation's annual gasoline consumption is currently 133 billion gallons per year. Primus says it can sell its gasoline for the same price as its petroleum-based counterparts. We believe that uh, we will be able to be competitive with uh, petroleum-based fuels at uh, $60 a, a barrel. Uh, $60 for a barrel of oil? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and if, uh, if oil goes below $60 a barrel? Uh, if, if, if oil goes below that, I think we'll still be competitive because as we produce, the more we produce, the more efficient we become. The technology is promising, but producing this gas in large batches is still years away. The company says it has raised $40 million to create the process, but it needs another $200 million to build the commercial plant. And then there's the omnipresent competitive threat from big oil. I do think that they have a tendency, like many large companies, to acquire what they don't develop and then to uh, grow it by themselves. I mean, you know, an end, end product, end game for us could be that kind of uh, being acquired by a large company, but that's not what we're interested in doing. What Primus is ultimately interested in doing is making a dent in the gasoline market with their biofuel. That fuel may come from wood. But ultimately, the success of their business will still come down to the price of oil. For CNN Money, I'm Steve Hargraves.